Welcome to the great Exodusiers, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the past Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation, and the author of the Book of Love. This book you can get at Amazon. Today, our topic is calamities and disasters. I want to talk to, me, to you about what will happen in the near future and what you can do to get help and to survive that. With the opening of the seals, what is right now at hand, a lot of calamities and disasters will come. Storms, flooding, tsunamis, earthquakes, name it. And this will come throughout the whole earth. No, can, no country will be spared. Now what do people normally do after such an event? They come together and help one another, right? Now, Triple Grace is dedicated not only to restoring the altar or to its former glory of the Book of Acts, but also to build safe havens for the Lord, societies of the rose. And in the societies of the rose, 50 people will come together in each society of the rose to share their resources, to support one another and to lift up sanity in their neighborhood, to be empowered and to shine their light forth for all to see. And they do that in the name of the Father and not in their own. Now, let me give you an example. What we have seen in the Bahamas, where the Hurricane Dorian has made a lot of destruction. Now, let us, let us assume we had three societies of the Rose in or on the Bahamas. And one society of the Rose was partially affected by the storm. And houses were destroyed of the members of this society of the Rose. Then immediately the first thing what would happen is that the members that were not affected of the Society of the Rose would come and help the affected members. They would take them in, share their resources, help with funds, help with cleaning up the places that are destroyed and so on and so on. That's the first thing that would happen right away immediately if you are in the Society of the Rose. Help would come forth right away for you. Then, what would happen secondly? There are more, two more societies of the Rose on the Bahamas who would come forth immediately. They were called forth immediately by the Lord to go and help and make rescue, make an emergency response team and go into these places that were destroyed to help the people, to lift them up, to share resources, to use their transport, to arrange funds, to arrange overnight stays and, and so on and so on. So you see, to be part of a society of the rose would have helped immediately the people who were affected and it would also help the other people who are not part of the society of the rose but Jesus the Lord our Lord and Savior would call these members of the unaffected societies of the rose force as an emergency response team. It is the same as if you come together after, the, after a disaster, but now you would come before, you get prepared, you are setting yourself up. And it is not only about disasters and calamities, it is about in case of losing employment. If you are a member of a society of the rose, you will be covered right away. It is in case of sickness, you worry what will happen with your family. If you are a member of a society of the rose, your family will be covered right away. It is about accident. It is about many, many disasters or calamities that can happen to you, not only the natural ones, but also in your private life. If you are a member of a society of the rose, you will be covered. It is like the heavenly insurance policy. If you are part in a society of the rose, you do not have to fear anything in the future. Because no matter what will happen, either your other members in this society of the rose will help you or other societies of rose in your area will come to support you. It is really a true insurance policy of heaven. 
That's the reason why we see, we know the seals are to be opened right now. And we know that calamities will come and a lot of problems will arise. That's the reason why we call you into these societies of the rose, so that you are covered. That the Lord can put you under his wings and that he can cover you and that miracles and wonders will come forth. But that you can worship and show forth the love of the Father without any fear for the future. Because you are completely covered. Again, I give you an example. You have 50 members in a society of the rose. One of the members got an accident and now he cannot work and nobody can take care of the family. Then these 49 members who are not affected by the accident will come forth, share their resources, support that one member, take care of the family until he is out of hospital or whatever will happen and he can take, take care for himself again. Now, the next time when somebody else is affected in the society of those, that member who received the help before is now one of them who will assist the new member that has a problem. So you see, it is, goes round. No matter where a problem arises, whoever has a need, it will be catered for. And this you will never reach in any church. This you will never reach in any other organization. But a society of the rose will help you in any case of calamity or anything that will happen in your life. That's the reason why you should come together right away now in such a society. Because calamities are at our doorsteps. You see it. You see also how badly government agencies are reacting and how much time has passed before help is coming. But if you're part of a society of the rose, then you can receive help right away. And also the other unaffected societies of the rose in such an area would come immediately right in and help. So it has a lot of advantages, advantages to have a society of the rose or to be part in a society of the rose. Please, let us all come together in love, unity and support in these societies of the rose so that we are prepared when everything comes and the disasters and calamities will come, then we are prepared and we are standing ready for the call of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so that he can call us at his emergency response team to go forth and look for his lost sheep and lift up the people that are affected. So that nobody who believes and trusts in the Lord will have to suffer. For this purpose, we are also building societies of the rose. Not only to support one another, but also as an emergency response team, so that other people, other believers, can get saved and can get rescued in any calamity that will arise. And by doing so, you will also win new members that will come into your society of the rose. And if you have more than 50 members, then just establish a new one a new society of the rose in your neighborhood, then you have two, and then you continue and grow. The important is that the Lord is telling you he has prepared for you safe havens, and these safe havens are your heavenly insurance policy. No matter what will happen, the Lord will cover you, and you will have always a way, a way to survive, a way of help. And you will not have to suffer and you will not have to die in calamities because you are not alone. You are together at least with 50 members or with 49 members in your society of the rose, but you are also with hundreds over hundreds of other members from other societies of the rose in your area or around the world. Funds can be distributed from the whole world to go to a place to help and assist. So let's come together, build the societies of the rose. These are the true safe havens of the Lord. These places are the true insurance policy of heaven. So come together and it's very easy. You can establish a society of the rose in your neighborhood, wherever you are. Just bring people together and follow what we have on our website as a first how to start with triple grace. And then it's very easy. And then you are covered and your people will come together and support one another. 
I know you have to learn how to share resources, but that will come on the way. There's a learning by doing. You do action and you will learn, and then it will help all the people that have faith and trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our beloved Father, Abba Father, God Almighty, Jehovah. You see how much advantage a society of the rose can bring you in any case, in anything that will happen. Calamities, disasters, natural earthquakes, whatever, storms, but also sickness, accidents, unemployment, whatever strikes. You are in a loving or trusting community of at least 49 other people who are coming forth to assist and help you right away. Without any question, without any delay, they come and lift you up. You cannot fall down in the pit and you cannot drawn in the water, because there is always a helping hand of a member of a Society of the Rose right beside you. These are many, many more advantages that you can have if you are a member. Just go to our website triple gracecom and look there under the point Societies of the Rose. What other advantages are there? There are plenty of advantages. So please come together build these societies of the rose and not only in one place or one nation or one continent everywhere throughout the whole world so that we are ready that we are ready when the seals will be open and that we are ready to walk that path to mount zion so that we then will be the multitude closed and wide and be ruptured into paradise at the sixth seal i call you first to establish societies of the rose right now and to be secured secured through heaven, by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The societies of the rose are the safe havens of heaven. Build them. Come together in love, unity and support. There is nothing better that can happen to you than to be a member of a society of the rose. I hope you have understood and you have also watched yesterday's video that we had. So that people get a better understanding about what we in Triple Grace want to do, what we are establishing. These places are very important and the Lord has stressed it to me over and over again that the time is now to build them up because disasters are at our doorsteps and we have to be prepared. And we cannot only stay in our churches, they will not help. The government agencies will not help. They will have so much to do, there will be no way to, to receive help. So we, as true believers in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, will come together and we will help ourselves, together with the help of millions of angels that the Lord is sending for our assistance, and also with the help from heaven through the saints and through provisions like manna and what so all miracles and wonders will follow our path. You will see that. Just start and build the societies of the rose in your neighborhood. Be part of this movement of the safe havens of heaven. Be part of Triple Grace. Become an elder, state leader or national leader and bring forth the societies of the rose in your nation so that we are prepared. The Lord is calling you for us right now to come together in love, unity and support. Do not miss that calling. Do not think that you are covered alone or that you are covered with the government or that you are covered with the churches. You will not enter the safe havens of love, unity and support today. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. And I'm happy that my followers of the past and my daily sacrifices who have already a good understanding of what we are doing are starting to bring forth the first societies of the rose in the nations. And I hope that you have understood what the advantages are and that you will do the same. May God bless you and your family abundantly and I will see you again tomorrow for the next topic. Have a great day. Maranasa.